use my whole shopping cart. That's three hours of picking out shoes just shot to hell. Hello, Penny. Hello, Sheldon. You're in my spot. Are you planning on sitting here? No, I'm going to the comic book store. Then what difference does it make? What difference does it make? Here we go. That is my spot. In an ever-changing world, it is a single point of consistency. If my life were expressed as a function on a four-dimensional Cartesian coordinate system, that spot at the moment I first sat on it would be zero, 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 zero. What? Don't sit in this spot. <sighs> Fine. Happy? I'm not unhappy. Boy, I love him, but he is one serious wackadoodle. I'm gonna go let Penny know we're back. Mother, I have to go. Yeah, love you. Bye. Hello, old friend. <sighs> Daddy's home. Apologize for that last remark. I'm a scientist. I never apologize for the truth. <laughs> That's my spot. <laughs> Leonard? Are you sleeping? No. Are you ill? No. Are you still depressed because you're alone and no one loves you? I don't know, maybe. I want you to know that I'm genuinely concerned about your well-being. Thank you. You're welcome. But it's still no reason to have your feet in my spot. May I offer an observation? Because if you had fun, then you are. You are a winner. You know, that's, that, that's what chess is all about. Hello. Hey. Oh, hey. Sorry, Sheldon. I'll move. Good. Why? My spot? Your spot? What difference does it make? <laughs> Okay, what just happened? I don't know. Between you playing chess like Bobby Fischer and Sheldon being okay with you in his spot, I'm guessing someone went back in time, stepped on a bug, and changed the course of human events. <laughs> hey, all set, what do you think? There's plenty of room for everybody, a uh, view out the window. My spot on the couch has a great view of a window. Sometimes I can see space battles through it. It's called a TV. Chance, Sheldon, you might actually like it. You're absolutely right. Nope. <laughs> well, you can't say he didn't give it a fair shot. Should you really be sitting in Sheldon's spot? He's in Texas, he'll never know. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Yeah, he has a very sensitive butt. <laughs> but it's true. Once I saw him sit on a bunch of loose change and add it up. <laughs> Dear crazy future Sheldon, <laughs> this is a thermostat. It controls the temperature of the apartment. The ideal setting is 72 degrees. If you find this too cold, then put on a jacket. A straight jacket, because 72 is the best and you're crazy. <laughs> now, this is your spot. You're very protective of it. When anyone else tries to sit here, you berate them relentlessly. And it sounds mean, but somehow you make it adorable. And his obsessive compulsive disorder. Yeah, that too. <laughs> no, and scoot over. Part of your shadow's on my spot. <laughs> yeah, with them working late so much, we get some privacy. Mm -hmm. Hey. Want to get a little crazy? What are you thinking? Let's slide over to Sheldon's spot and make out. You are a dirty girl. Oh, God, how did he know? Hello? Hi, Howard. Mm -hmm. Am I interrupting? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> what do you think? It's a nice enough spot. You know, if I'm gonna start standing up for myself, this is exactly the kind of thing. Oh, hi, hi. <laughs> hi, Sheldon. Ah! 
He's in my spot. You, Leonard, make him stop being naked in my spot. Howard, what are you doing? He wasn't using it. And I needed a nice, cool piece of leather to wiggle my naked ass on. Get off there. Give me back my Iron Man helmet. Give me back my parking space. You don't need a parking space. You don't have a car. But if you don't need an Iron Man helmet, you're not Iron Man. Well, we appear to have reached an impasse. And you know, I have to say, I thought you'd be more upset that your laptop is sitting on my junk. <laughs> I didn't pick up on that. That's a nice touch. <laughs> Sheldon, I understand why you chose this spot. I mean, the temperature's good, but there's no draft. I can see the television, but I can still talk to... I changed my mind. Get out of my spot. How long? 94 seconds. All she's saying is, we are in love, so it doesn't matter if we get married tomorrow, or a year from now, or 50 years from now. Ew, 50 will be old and gross. <laughs> Yeah, but we'll be old and gross together. My aunt and uncle were married 63 years. Towards the end, it was like watching cheese melt. Um, I'm free tonight. You said you want to get married? Vegas isn't that far away. I'm in. Let's do it. <laughs> After all these years, I'm really happy for the two of you. Oh, thank Thanks. you. Now get out of my spot. <laughs> Relax. It'll be fine. Sit down, you guys. No! no! What? <laughs> Oh, yeah, you can't sit there. Why not? That's where Sheldon sits. He can't sit somewhere else? <laughs> oh, no, no, you see, in the winter, that seat is close enough to the radiator so that he's warm, yet not so close that he sweats. In the summer, it's directly in the path of a cross breeze created by opening windows there and there. It faces a television at an angle that isn't direct, so he can still talk to everybody, yet not so wide that the picture looks distorted. <laughs> Perhaps there's hope for you after all. That's great. And look at you sitting in Sheldon's spot. You know, I don't even get to sit there. Yeah. And you never will. <laughs> oh, hello. Ask her to do the tissue thing. Do it. Ask her. Can I have a tissue? Of course. <laughs> Isn't that the best? She's like Grandma Spider-Man. 